I'm gonna show you how to rank your local business consistently at the top of Google. I run a junk removal company that operates in over 40 cities nationwide and ranks in hundreds of smaller cities as well. So 99% of our customers come through organic traffic. We spend nothing on Google ads. That means our customers find us through our website pages ranking in Google search and through our Google business listings. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through my exact local SEO strategy. First, I'll cover how to set up and rank your Google business listing or even multiple multiple Google business listings, and then I'll cover how to structure your website so that it ranks and gets traffic locally. This video is great if you have a single location local business or if you have a business that operates in a lot of different locations like mine. I have spent years hiring and working with SEO professionals, testing different strategies and ranking methods, and I'm gonna share everything I've learned with you and what's working for me today. And stay tuned to the end, I'll show you one free strategy that I use that gets some of my pages ranking even above the Google Maps section. So let's jump in and learn how to get your local business more traffic. First, let's start with how to set up a Google business listing that ranks, and I'll cover what to do if you have multiple locations. So when you're just starting out, your website is not going to rank locally. A website can take up to a year or more to build up enough authority to rank in Google. So your Google business listing is going to be what potential customers see and what is going to drive your traffic in the beginning. When setting up your Google business listing, you can use a physical location if your business has one or Google says you can enter a residential address and set up your profile as a service area business, meaning you service customers at their home or location, not at your office. Both still require an address to verify. So my business services customers in 40 different locations and our Google business listings are mainly service area businesses, meaning we service customers at their home or business. But how do we verify these listings in all these areas? So we use a head team member in each area to become our satellite office location. Um, we use their home as our office for that area. So Google has a very gray area when it comes to multiple locations, and this has worked well for us. When at all possible, you want that location of your Google business listing, even if it is a service area business, to be within the city limits of where you want to rank, and ideally closest to densely populated areas that you want to service. So a large factor in Google business rankings is based on the proximity to the searcher, and Google rarely shows businesses outside of the city that the searcher is looking in. So try to be as close to where you want to get the jobs as possible. So once you have your location verified, you want to optimize your Google business listing to rank. Fill out everything in the listing so it is complete and optimized. I'll walk through each part of your Google business profile and show you how to optimize it. First, your business name. Your name on your Google business needs to be the actual name of your business, meaning you cannot stuff it with keywords unless those keywords are included in your actual business name. So if we do a search for carpet cleaning San Diego, top one that pops up, Monster Steamer Carpet Cleaning and Air Duct Cleaning San Diego. You can see their title as carpet cleaning and air duct cleaning and the word San Diego in it. So when someone searches carpet cleaning San Diego, their business name has all those words in the title and could be one of the reasons they're showing up number one. Now be careful when doing this because if it isn't your actual business name, which it doesn't seem like it's their actual business name, their business name is Monster Steamer. A lot of people will get away with adding these extra keywords, but just beware that they can take your listing down if you do that. So naming your business something like Tim's Lawn Care of Denver or Tim's Lawn Care could give you a boost over something arbitrary like Tim's Green Thumb. Those little keywords have shown to give a little boost in ranking when someone is searching for the exact term like lawn care and your business has it in the title. This is not a deal breaker and does not mean you should change your business name. It can just be a little boost in ranking, but won't help you outrank businesses that are much more established and have a lot more reviews. So the next thing you're gonna do is choose your main business category. This is critical for ranking factors. It may seem simple, but many businesses choose a less than optimal primary business category. If you are a junk removal company, do you choose waste management, garbage collection, debris removal? If you're a lawn mowing company, do you choose lawn care or landscaper? Luckily, I have a simple trick to help you choose the best category. You can download a plugin called GMB Everywhere and do a little search in Google with that plugin open for your main keyword you want to rank for. Look at the Google business list that show up and the plugin will tell you which primary category each business selected. Look at the top ranking businesses and use the same category they are using. So if we look at Junk Removal Denver using the GMB Everywhere plugin open, if you look down below you can see the 
Google My Business categories they selected and the one with the star is their main category. So Junk King Denver, Garbage Collection Service, main category. Big Ass Junk Removal, Garbage Collection Service, main category. Junk Be Gone, Garbage Collection Service. Uh, Junk Man Enterprises, Garbage Collection Service is the main category. Bought On, Garbage Collection Service, 1-800-GOT-JUNK, Waste Management Service, Clutter Trucker, Waste Management Service. So clearly the Garbage Collection Service uh, main category seems to be the one ranking for all the highest ones in the Denver area. So if you're doing junk removal, you probably wanna choose garbage collection service. Now for your Google business description. Your description is your chance to tell Google what you do and where you do it. Google is scraping this description for any information about your business. So include the services you offer and where you offer them within your description. Something like, we offer a wide variety of junk removal services from yard debris collection to couch disposal and hot tub removal. We do it all. We have proudly been offering junk hauling to residents of San Diego and Sanitas Escondido for over five years. Something like that where you include some of the most important areas that you service and the services that you want to rank for within the description wording. Monster Steamer Carpet Cleaning and Air Duct Cleaning, their description has a lot of keywords in it. Your San Diego home, so they're using the name San Diego, water extraction, carpet cleaning, air duct cleaning needs, San Diego, California. So they're using the name of the location they service and they're also using throughout their description, they're using a few keyword terms that people might be searching for like carpet cleaning and air duct cleaning and they seem to be doing well they are ranking number one fill out all the rest of your listing fully and completely with images and all the services you offer hours of operation and update them on a regular basis this lets google know that you're an active business so when i search window cleaning in boston all service window cleaning comes up first and i would bet that their google business listing is filled out fully window cleaning doesn't seem to have many companies with a lot of reviews so 32 reviews has them ranking right at the top there and if you go down they've got a full description they've got a whole bunch of photos of different jobs that they've done if you go to updates they have a whole bunch of updates and offers so they're keeping that up to date free screen and sill cleaning as i said they've got 32 reviews they filled out all the services that they offer they have the locations that they're servicing really just fill out your whole google business listing it's going to help google see that you're a relevant and active business in that area it's also going to help them understand understand what you do and ultimately help you rank higher. When it comes to linking your Google listing to your website, you want to link to the most relevant page. And this may not be your home page. If your Google business listing is for junk removal in San Diego, then link specifically to your San Diego location page. Now for arguably the most important part of your Google business listing, reviews. Without reviews, you are just another untrustworthy business that isn't likely to rank or get clicks, especially if you're in a competitive niche. I recommend getting as many reviews as you can off the bat. My goal with a new local business would be to get 20 Google reviews as fast as you can. To do this, I like to offer my home services to people for free or discounted. Friends, family, neighbors, your Facebook community pages, Nextdoor are all great places to start. Look at these free or discounted services that you're going to offer as an investment in the foundation of your business. I use these discounted or free jobs as test jobs to train and vet new workers. They're also a great way to learn about your business processes and systems if you are just starting out. Now, if you are an established business and already have some reviews or are just looking for ways to get more natural reviews, then all you need to do is start asking for them. Ask and you'll find that the amount of reviews you get skyrockets. Ask every customer to leave a review and if they don't respond, ask again. They aren't mad, they just are busy. My business uses a software called ZenBooker that essentially runs our whole business and it has an automated review request sequence built into that software that'll ask customers for a review and it'll link directly to our Google business page. If you don't have a software, you can simply text each customer and ask for a review. I found something like, thanks so much for choosing Tim's Junk Removal. We are a small company and benefit greatly from reviews. If you have a chance to leave us a review, we would love to hear what you have to say. I found that works really well. Give them the link directly to your Google business listing in that text so they can easily click it and leave the review right from their phone. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about SEO for your actual website. As I said, I run my junk removal company in over 40 major cities, ranking local pages in hundreds of small towns, and I run it remotely using contractors, meaning some of our locations do not have a Google business listing, yet we still get traffic there. This traffic comes from our website rankings. Believe it or not, some of our website pages that are extremely targeted actually show up before the Google business map listings. I'm going to show you exactly how to structure your website for local search, whether you just have one location or many locations. So now on to how to build your website. You can build your website on whatever website 
folder you feel comfortable with. I have mine now on WordPress, but originally I started with a drag and drop website builder called Weebly. If you are new, I recommend something easy that you can go into and fix without feeling overwhelmed. The most important factor for SEO is the content you put on your website, how you lay it out, and getting other websites to link back to your website and your content. You can always change the website builder as you grow. As I said, I started with a Weebly drag and drop builder and eventually moved over to WordPress but my Weebly site was ranking very well in Google for years. I just went to WordPress for extra functionality. I'll link all the tools I use to build my website and for SEO down below in the description. So now let's talk about how to structure your website so it ranks. First, let's start with your homepage. Your homepage is the core of your website and should easily let customers get to any other section of your website in two or three clicks. Your homepage should have a clear title so the searcher knows exactly what you do at first glance. This will help reduce back clicks, meaning the people who hit your web page and go back to Google to search for something else because they didn't find what they were looking for. Google hates this and this will kill your rankings. If you mow lawns or clear gutters, make sure the searcher can clearly see that the minute they arrive at your website. Don't be cute be clear. Next, your homepage should include sections with things like services you offer and the locations you service. Each location you list and each service you offer should have a link and link out to that service page or that location page. This lets Google know these pages are relevant and important. Pages with links directly from the homepage are seen as authoritative and relevant in Google's eyes. The last thing you want is a page on your website with no other pages linking to it. Also, be sure to include your name, address, and phone number on the homepage and embed a Google map with your location. If you have multiple locations, you can do this on each location page separately. College hunks hauling junk. And we're going to look at how they've structured their website. So when you get to their homepage, they've got a clear title, stress-free moving and junk removal. First thing, they've got a list of services they offer linking out to different services. So moving company, junk removal, donation pickups, they link out to more service sections of their website, got some information. And then they also allow you to link out to all their different locations. Um, so you're able to get to all their services and all their locations from their homepage. When you click on location, then it's gonna go to all of their location pages and you can easily get to any location page you want with another click. So this shows Google that all of these are important. Now, when you click out to a location or a service page from the homepage, each of those needs to be thoughtfully structured as well. The majority of people are likely going to be landing on your location pages or service pages rather than your homepage as these are usually the pages that are ranking in Google for specific search terms. Each location page should have in-depth content about that specific location, linking out to companies you work with in that area. You also want to have an embedded Google map, include a section on services you offer in that area and link out separately to each of those specific service pages. Also include a nearby location section that links out to nearby locations you service as well. If you click on a location page, on that location page, they're gonna link out to the service that they offer in Kansas City. They've got some information about their address there, their phone number, their hours, and then they've got other nearby areas in Kansas City that they service that you can get to. They've got Meet the Kansas City team, so they've got more information that you can link out to in Kansas City, and they've got this for every single one of their location pages. Now, each service page should be done similarly. Have a separate page for each service. So if you do junk removal, have a page for hot tub removal, a page for couch disposal, a page for for debris cleanup, a page for hoarder cleanouts, etc. Now, if you have any specific or niche services you really want to rank, you can make a separate page for those services in each location. For example, if you really want to rank for hot tub removal in multiple cities, you can make pages for hot tub removal in San Diego, hot tub removal in Phoenix, target those exact keywords in those specific towns. Fred's junk removal also in San Diego. Now, I didn't pick this one because of the look of the website, but it's ranking very well. He hasn't done anything crazy. He doesn't have the most amazing looking website. He's laid everything out really well. And so Google sees that and they're ranking him well for it. He's beating out a lot of the big junk companies. He has, actually has pages that link out to all the sub cities within the San Diego area. So if you click on La Jolla, he's got a page for La Jolla. And then he actually has specific pages for each junk removal service in that area. So TV recycling in La Jolla. If someone's looking for La Jolla TV recycling, since he has a specific 
specific page on that specific service, he's more likely to show up. Go very in depth on these services and you can even link out to articles that are relevant to that subject. So if you're writing about hoarder cleanouts, maybe you can link out to helpful resources for hoarders or an article about what hoarding is and how to overcome it. On the services page, you also want to have a where we offer this service section linking out to each location page that this service is offered in, as well as a section on similar services that links out to other service pages that customers are looking for. You want your entire website to be like a web that is easy for Google and your customers to follow, easily linking out and connecting relevant pages and information. If you only have one location, do the same thing. Just have one page that goes in depth about your business and link out to businesses you work with in town. Include a map and a link out to services you offer with a separate page for each service. Now, besides ranking your specific location and service pages, there is one other practice I use on my website that gets our business a lot of traffic. This is the one that actually outranks many of our service pages, many of our location pages, and even many times outranks the Google Maps section. This happens through pages where we write roundup articles on our site about our niche. Let me give you an example. If you're a junk removal company, writing an article like seven ways to dispose of a couch in San Diego is an amazing way to rank an article. And many times these articles will rank above local business pages. Include links out to things like donation centers in town, a local landfill, and of course your business at the top of the list. By linking out to other businesses, you are showing a more comprehensive and useful angle that Google loves and you are also giving people resources for their problem and helping them out. And you'll find that they feel grateful to you for that information. It seems unbiased, it doesn't come across as salesy at all. You build trust. Now, some people may use the, some of the other resources that you recommend, but a big portion of them will choose to use your services. Junk King has an article, how to dispose of an old TV in San Diego, where they go through and basically give you options on where you can you know, drop off and recycle an old TV, or they also tell you that they can come pick it up and give you pricing and stuff like that, that ranks well. And these, especially if you're linking out to other options, so you have uh, you're actually showing Google that you're giving people other resources besides just yourself, you'll find that you can rank really high. So if you're in the carpet cleaning industry, you can do this by writing articles, reviewing the best places to buy carpet in San Diego, and how important it is to clean that carpet in order to get the most life out of it, and why your company is the best at offering these cleaning services. Then when they're ready to have their carpets cleaned, you are a name they remember and someone that they found value from and trust. You can use a keyword tool like Ahrefs or SEMrush to see what keywords people are searching for and the competition level of those words. Ideally, you want to write these articles for keywords that have a high search volume, but low competition, meaning a lot of people are searching for them, but nobody else has written content on that topic. This practice of writing articles has given my company lots of traffic and has helped spread the word about our brand across a bunch of different locations. So there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide to my local SEO strategy. I hope this was helpful and gave you an idea on how to go about ranking your local business. Let me know in the comments if there's anything SEO related that I didn't cover that you wanna see in another video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next one.